How about a tape measure that has scale on both sides? Huh? Coming up. <laughs> Howdy folks. <laughs> Coffee and tools here. Yeah. Let's take a look at a tape measure. This is a new one from a company called Uptech and they uh, sent this in to me to take a look at it and said it's it's new, it's you know, it's developed, it's a really good one. We want you to look at it. I says, all right, you know what? Bring it on in. We'll take a look. Uh, we'll give it a shot. And right away, I looked at it and said, okay, it's got a laser. Any good? Let's find out. Hmm. There we go. For our first test, I thought, well, we'll just set up a long, long ruler with the laser at one end. Now, the zero for the laser is technically right back in here about, well, it's said to be like right back here where this is. So I'm going to try to, I guess we'll say duplicate that. We're going to start the laser, which comes with two buttons. Uh, the first button is going to start the laser up or at least start the reading. And we can do this in inches, feet, whatever. We're going to do it in inches because this seems like a, a fair test. And at the other end of the scale, I have a little block set up here, which will be our target block. So that should give us, you know, an idea as to how good or how bad. Now to read it, there's a little, uh, just press it a second time. The laser is now on and we will now push for a reading. Okay. And we are showing 43.9 inches and the block is at 40. Four inches so we're point one of an inch off but let's try this and we'll reshoot it maybe that's where the zero is on this that's the first thing I, I had a problem with is trying to figure out exactly there it is 44 yeah wow hey that's actually uh, correct and accurate okay so right off the beginning here at the very front of this tape measure is where I'm reading from and it's giving me an exact 44 inch reading which if we go down here to where the block is the block is, uh, you can see here, I've got it set up at exactly 44 inches on the mark. And it's showing, let's see if we can see this, see if I can show it to you. Yeah, uh, there you go. And it's uh, at exactly four, it's showing 44 inches. So that's a pretty accurate measurement at that point. I don't know about, you know, 200 feet or something. I'm not sure how that would work out, but. Uh, just seeing that is kind of intense because it's kind of like, you know what? Yeah, this might be all right. It's easy enough to use. To shut the system off, you hit both buttons at the same time, and it shuts the whole top off to the readout. There's two batteries that go in the back, double, uh, triple, triple A batteries, excuse me, go in the back of the tape measure here. The tape measure feels pretty light. It's not too bulky or heavy. Got a nice you know, clip on it for your belt or whatever. I like this rubber piece I got at the front. It's a rubberized uh, front a little different and it has uh, I guess a nice hook It doesn't have the usual, you know silly teeth back here to grab into something It has a nice rubberized hook so that will hook to a bench nicely now Unlike any tape measure I've ever used unless you push the button the brake is on like it's it's dragging the whole time so Again, a little different. I think they tried to make some improvements over the uh, the basic tape measure, and at the same time, they also added this you know interesting laser uh, made by a company out there called Uptech, and I'll give you more information about them in the description below and all that, and where you can find these things. But uh, right now, this one will go up to 200 feet plus. It has a nice scale here. Now, what I don't know is how many feet the actual tape measure goes to. I think it should say here somewhere. Well, there's only one way to do that is just pull the whole thing out. It does go up to 196, some, uh, 100, about 196, almost 197 inches, but 16 foot. So technically this is equivalent to a 16 foot tape measure. Also, I'm gonna just back it off again here. Uh, the other thing it has, which is kind of interesting, uh, a little different again. On one side we have all the metric, on the other side we have the standard. Nice yellow background, which is nylon coated, which is good. The scale I like because it shows very clearly, and you can see clearly the, the distance between the half inch and say the quarter inch breakdown. So if you're going for three eighths or something, you can count it off one, two, and three. Oh, there's three eighths, you know. You can read the scale pretty good on it. So I'm happy with that. That's decent compared to some of the ones I have seen lately. 
The other thing it does have is, like I said, is the metric. Now, metric is not that handy for everybody, but I, I do use a little bit of metric with especially the 3D builds and stuff. So metric is kind of a, you know, an extra thing that I do use quite a bit, and it is nice to have a tape measure that can do both at the same time. Now, the laser, uh, for accuracy, I'm a little surprised. So we're going to take another test, and this time we're going to uh, read... I guess uh, I'm going to bring the block to 24 inches and we'll read it again just because huh, because I can uh, and we'll get the reading there it is it's measuring it and what happened all right now I hit the button again oh there we go yep 24.0 inches again accurately dead on and so that is pretty cool the only, I guess I can't find anything really negative going on here. Everything seems to be working well, and it is an easy tape measure to read. I guess that's why they sent it over to me. They're, they're pretty happy with their stuff. And we'll shut this off again. Now, you also have a unit button, which is right here. And on the unit button, you can actually pick, decide on whether you want to measure in inches or feet with inches or metric, like meters, that kind of thing. So you can switch back to the two scales also while using the laser on the machine. It's, uh, it's said to be uh, up to 60 meters on the laser and the, oh, five meter tape or just a little over 16 feet, five meters, five meters, that's 500 millimeter, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's metric. We're, we're in the States. Don't do this. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting tape measure. So the tape measure uh, is pretty cool tape measure. It, it has some features that I have not seen before in the industry. At the same time, we've seen these lasers before, but this one here, every test I made with it, it was accurate. And it was like, well, wow, okay, you know, it's, it's accurate, good. The other thing I did just for last, because I see a lot of this out here, is I can get up to about six feet of uh, I guess we'll call it fishing pole and then she seems to let's see there's six feet there still going yep, and it collapses so it's if you're if you have that in mind so I've seen certain tape measures that they say will go out a certain distance before it you know drops this uh, non-slip uh, rubber tip on it is different but I like it it doesn't have that prickly little you know thing back here so it actually will probably be a good thing because it won't mess up any work if you're pulling it and you know measuring on something. That's about as much as we can say about this tape measure. We really need to get into something else today that we're going to do, but we're going to come back right back to this, right? Okay, here's what we're going to do. There's a draw for a chamfer planer this week. This is Thursday. It's, draw, it's tool day where we draw for a winner. I cut all these up this morning and we had a, it doesn't look like it, there's several hundred in there and everybody's name was Greg for some, no I'm just kidding about the Greg thing, actually I don't think we had one Greg in there this time around that I noticed anyways when we were printing off the uh, tickets. So we need to draw and see who's got the planer. Uh, let's see, yeah. <sighs> okay, the planer, this is what we're Sending off. Hopefully, it might uh, if I have time, I might be able to get this thing off actually even today, because uh, as you can imagine, we're going into something else. This is the beautiful chamfer planer, which I have to thank Bang Goods again for sending this over to us to check this out. Love it. It's a it's a really nice tool. Again, it's one of those ones I'd like to keep, but you know, my policy is everything we show on YouTube, we give away. We just you know, and there's been a lot of questions about the uh, laser which is uh, probably one of the more expensive machines that we've had in here. And I've got another one behind me here in a box right there. Yeah. And that's about a $500 machine, but we'll be doing reviews and taking a look at it and hopefully we'll be giving it away too. But right now we're doing the planer, chamfer planer, nice item. And comes in this neat box with a little screwdriver kit and some instructions and stuff about using it. And so let's get to the tickets. Uh, we need a bucket, and I guess we're getting the uh, the good old Lowe's bucket. Here we go. All right, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. <laughs> they always do. All right, let's take off. These are all the names of the entries. Boom. And everybody's name should have been Greg this time. We had three Gregs in our, I think, in a row win something out of here. That was like 
how can that possibly happen? I'm stirring up all the tickets so that, you know, like I said, I like to get as fair a possible chance to anybody to get something uh, from the show here so we can ship it out to them. And so this is, wow, that's a nice, that's a nice, looks like spaghetti now, so good. We'll mix it up real good. We're gonna draw for this, and then we're gonna start the draw for the next item. So, yeah, cool, huh? Alrighty, let's get this mixed up real good. And let's pull out a ticket, and Jeff, uh, I won't give your last name out, but you're in South Hadley, Massachusetts. So, wow, congratulations, Jeff. And by looks at that address, you don't need this tool. So what are you doing? <laughs> <sighs> Wow. So, congratulations, Jeff. That is awesome. This is going out. I'll put your address here on the box with you because we're going to try to get this out to you as early as today. If we don't get it today, we will definitely get it Friday. We'll have it tomorrow in the mail to you. And congratulations, Jeff. I didn't even, I'm surprised it wasn't Greg. I'm really disappointed. Three Gregs in a row. <laughs> uh, somebody actually. A couple of people actually wrote in and put Greg and then put their regular name in for a tool. So, and I can't blame them. I am still a little surprised myself over that. Now the rest of these will be burned. The uh, email box has already been completely deleted, deleted, deleted. And fact, it's been so deleted that I even went into the history of the mailbox to make sure that there's nothing in there deleted. Hopefully not even the NSA can find your name or your address in there now. So you know, we'll get rid of it all and destroy all these tickets and let's start a new one. Yeah, it's Thursday and we just finished the review on this tool, which was really, really nice of these uh, folks here at uh, Uptech Instruments. Give me a... And I will provide a link in the description below to where Uptech Instruments is actually located. And they're in California, I believe. Yeah, Santa Clara, California. Cool. And we're going to draw for a tape. Now, how do we do this? Okay, same as, same as we always do. We're going to do, I'll put it over my head here. Uh, it's coffee and tool rewards at gmx.com. And in the subject line of your email, Put tape, T-A-P-E, tape. And then just as you're doing a postal return envelope, something like that, just put your name and your address in the email body of the letter. That's it. Open to uh, lower 48 and Canada. By the way, we had a record number this, uh, this week of people from Canada in the entries. I noticed there was a lot of Canadian addresses. There was one fellow that didn't have his, uh, didn't say what province he was in, but you know, I guess he was in a hurry. But uh, lower 48 and Canada, one house, one uh, entry per household. I want to thank everybody that has put their names in for some of these things in the past. Please put your, put your name in again. Don't worry about it. That includes you, Sid. <laughs> and, and Keith and everybody else out there. Chris, you too. You know, get your name in for it. Um, I don't even know what the value on this one is, but it's a really cool tape measure and it has some, like say, it's, it's, uh, has some very unusual features, including the scale on both sides of the tape. Uh, a lot of contractors would probably say, you know, I could have used that. I don't know how many times I got into something and man, if I'd had the scale on the back side, it would have been perfect. So, and the laser seems to be very accurate. So anyways, uh, yeah, definitely put your name in for it guys because, uh, and girls because that's, a, that's gonna be a neat tape measure. And next Thursday, we'll do the draw for the tape measure that we just uh, reviewed today. Actually, this has actually been going on for this review. We had a lot of technical issues, uh, more related to other things, but it actually turned into a three-day record to try to get this uh, video pulled together. Not, not normal, no, not normal. And uh, Monday, we're gonna be uh, hacking. I hope, I believe, Monday we're gonna show you the uh, TV cabinet that was $5 that I've turned into a large television cabinet for entertainment. And we'll be looking at the uh, finish on that project. Uh, we just put some paint on it and did some uh, varnish work and stuff on it the other day. So uh, but 
I'm thinking that uh, project has come to a, hopefully it's come to a close or it's finished, you know, it's great. Meantime, congratulations, Jeff. Uh, in South, South Hadley, Massachusetts. Can't say I've ever been there. I, I have done a lot of travel in my time, so I have been to a lot of places. Uh, yeah, pretty much all 48 plus Canada and some Mexico and some other places. But anyways, that's, that's great for Jeff. Uh, I hope you can use it and enjoy it. Uh, thank you for entering, Jeff. You know, and thank you everyone for entering the contest again this week to you know see if you can get this chamfer uh, planer. We've got some more stuff coming in, of course. Always some brand new stuff coming in from different innovators. Got an interesting toolkit, I believe, from what I hear that's uh, going to be in here pretty soon. That's going to be an innovative toolkit, and you might not think you need it, but you know what? I'm going to tell you why you do need it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, next week, yeah, I also have uh, something else that we have here now. But we're going to talk about again something that just about everybody we should all have one for a lot of reasons these days. But meantime, so we're doing this the tape from UpTech. And uh, just so you all know what happened here, we've got two of these. Now, the reason they shipped two was so that we could give one away and keep the other one here for the time being. So that's what we're going to fulfill with our agreement with the company at this time is that I will have a brand new one sent out to you. You will not get this one. I've already opened the box and put the batteries in it. So, you know, I'm playing with it right now. But uh, the one that you will receive will be a brand new one from UpTech. Unopened box. Cool. And as always, uh, Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools, and please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully Monday, man, we'll see you guys Monday, and it'll be crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs>